Uh, we're still not on. It shows live on the barometer, the screen sharing, uh, so it says live. Um, I'm on the right now. Okay. I think uh, that's my cue. Assalamu alaikum. I think I'm ready to start my session. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. Uh, before we start, I just want to give you this brief uh, introduction. Uh, cyber security threat is an industry epidemic among security professionals. Burnout is a hard conversation, especially with your boss, but it is necessary for CISOs to face workplace stress before it compromises productivity, talent retention, or individual well being. The impact of work uh, stress or workplace stress can be particularly debilitating when it is doubled with mental health issues. It's time for CISOs to collaborate with other industry leaders to create new solutions for a healthier, happier workforce. In life, there are times when you need to be mentally sharp to make good decisions fast. In those times, you need to be mentally strong. That means managing your emotions adjusting your thinking, and choosing to take positive action whatever your circumstances. But like any physical strength, mental strength doesn't just happen, it has to be developed. Hello, everyone. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy and excited to be with you in this completely new virtual experience. The Women in Cybersecurity uh, Middle East Virtual Conference 2020. Our session will take around uh, 35 minutes and uh, 10 minutes for the Q&A session, inshallah. I am Fatma Gallaf uh, from Kuwait, Certified Advanced Professional in Life Coaching by London Training and Coaching and accredited by the Institute of uh, Leadership and Management, UK's largest management body, providing industry leading qualifications. I have over 17 years uh, experience in the oil and gas sector with focus on cyber threat management in the last few years. And I was privileged to work with an extraordinary team led by the well-known empowering leader, Dr. Reem Ashimari. Towards the end of 2019, I took the leap, uh, my early retirement into my growth zone in which I have discovered my life purpose after a journey of more than 20 years searching for meaning. Now, I'm the founder and CEO at WAB Consultancy. You may learn more about me by visiting my LinkedIn profile. Okay, so as we all know, the four basic stages of the cybersecurity strategy, which are predict, prevent, detect, and respond, we can use these steps to understand and manage stress as well. In order to be aware of your stress, you need to understand its level and figure out the events or environments that you might consider demanding, challenging, and or threatening your safety. Then you can minimize your stress and prevent any breakdown emphasis by knowing your stressors. Also, get to learn about what stresses you and be alert of the emotional and physical stress symptoms in order to control them. Finally, in case if you faced any breakdown, stress breakdowns or burnouts, respond according to each situation with full awareness and don't neglect the signs nor events that cause you stress in order to keep your mental health maintained and safe. Moving on, before we start, I would like you all to measure your current stress level with this quick reflection activity. To know how stressed you are at the moment, 
Measure your stress on a scale from 1 to 10, where 1 is not stressed at all and 10 is extremely stressed. Be reminded, you need to measure how stressed you are currently at this moment, not a day, a week, a month, or a year ago, okay? You have one minute, get set, ready, and go. I'll give you a minute, just try to measure your uh, stress level. We're gonna need this for the next slide. Facing, uh, you know, challenging situations or even when I was preparing for this uh, lecture and uh, talk, it was really uh, joyful, yet somehow it created a level of stress that we will get to know because there are um, types of stress, it's not one just type, and we get to know that, inshallah, in a few seconds. I think everyone has just uh, measured themselves. Moving on, okay, now, remember how much you scored in your stressometer? Your score will indicate to some extent the type of stress that you're currently experiencing. Say you scored between one to four, that means you are in a positive stress level. And I was shocked when I heard about this kind of thing because I didn't know about that earlier. While scores 5 to 10 may be an alert for the negative type of stress. Therefore, we have two types of stress, eustress and distress. Eustress is the positive type of stress that makes you uh, stronger, healthier, and cause you to be more focused and motivated. It creates excitement, improves your performance, and will be within your coping ability like uh, let's say like athletes preparing for the olympics they have this kind of stress but it is uh, the positive type of stress which is useless while de-stress the negative type of stress causes you anxiety makes you feel unpleasant and can be um, can be uh, or can last for a short or long term it exceeds your ability uh, to cope and decreases your performance and can lead to mental and physical problems on the long run. So everyone knows now what type of stress they are experiencing. As we said, one to four is kind of positive, five to 10 is kind of negative, okay? We're all aware of Maslow's hierarchy of needs and as Maslow has highlighted, the importance of the different kinds of needs in his well-known hierarchy, our psychological needs are as important. We tend to forget that fact. Therefore, it is especially important for you to know your personality type to be able to understand what stresses you out and why. Knowing your specific stressors can help you detect the things that might trigger you and can help in building awareness in your own behavior. Also, it will allow you to better handle or prepare for stress-inducing situations. Now, before we dive in deeper, you need to realize this uh, rule of thumb when it comes to any personality types method. Most methods are stemmed out from Carl Jung's uh, basic eight psychological types. Carl Jung's is a Swiss psychiatric and psychoanalyst. Other methods might have four, 12, 16, or 36 personality types. In this session, we will be covering the DISC model of behavior that first uh, was proposed by William Marston, an American psychologist with a PhD from Harvard, and who, by the way, was an advocate for women's detention. But this thumb, a thumb rule states that everyone is a blend of all types, yet one type will be stronger than the other. All types are equally valuable. None is preferred over the other. And each type has its own strong and weak points. You need to know this rule of thumb. 
By realizing this fact and knowing the four disk personality types, you will be able to adapt any of the types to fit particular situations and or better handle your personal and professional relationships. You may ask now, what is DISC? Well, DISC is a personal behavior assessment tool based on the DISC theory of psychologist William Marston, as we mentioned earlier, and which centers on four uh, different personality traits. It's used to improve productivity, teamwork, leadership, and relationships. Many, many companies, big companies rely on this, especially uh, for uh, during the employment process for HR and some also uh, for marketing and sales to uh, enhance productivity and so on. It describes the human behavior in various situations like how you respond to challenges, how you influence others, your preferred base, and how you respond to rules, procedures, and of course, stress. Keep in mind that there are four personality types and each type will accordingly have a different response to stress. Here we are, that's the core of our session today. So what are the four different personality traits of DISC? They are dominance, influence, steadiness, and conscientiousness. Before we go through the general description of each type, I want you to listen carefully and relate to which description of these types applies to you the most. Of course, there are a specific uh, assessment tests provided by professional coaches and trainers that will provide you with your exact type of disc profile. Yet, these general descriptions are just a quick guideline for you to understand what causes you stress later on, just to relate, okay? Now, if you are a dominance, you are determined, uh, strong-willed, direct, bold, fast-paced, you prefer to lead, and you focus on results. Results are very important for dominance. If you are influence, you are persuasive, cheerful, adventurous, energetic, optimistic, enthusiastic, popular, and social. Influence really, really are interested in being accepted by others and they don't like the test at all, <laughs> okay? And for steadiness, uh, if you are steadiness, you are friendly, polite, peaceful, sensitive, uh, patient. They're very, very sensitive. And they care to be in a safe, calm, and stable surroundings. If you are uh, conscientiousness, uh, you are precise, firm, systematic, cautious, analytical, reserved, organized, and you care about high quality and details, opposite to influence. Influence, they don't like details. Conscientiousness, they, they love details. they just into details, okay? So remember, the rule uh, of thumb that we uh, covered earlier, everyone is a blend of all types. All types are equally valuable, and each type has its own strong and weak points. Now we'll go through one time at a time, covering the stressors of each type, how each type responds to under extreme stress, and reasons behind those behaviors. Starting with dominance. For dominance, they tend to stress when they have their ideas or authorities challenged, or when they aren't able to share uh, their opinions with others. They keep the, their opinions to themselves. They feel stressed. They like to share their opinions with others. And when they have little independence. So these kind of stressors uh, dominance have. Now, under extreme stress, dominance will become very dominant, little understanding, and tend to be very aggressive. Of course, the reasons uh, to such behavior 
relates to what they value and what they fear. Dominance, uh, they value competency, concrete results, and personal freedom. And they fear, on the other hand, loss of control, being taken advantage of or being vulnerable. They don't like to be in such uh, situation. That's why under extreme stress, they tend to be aggressive and little understanding. That's for dominance. If anyone relates to that type or have faced such uh, experience or behavior uh, in some stressful situations, then you are a dominance. Okay. Now, uh, for the stresses related to the influence side, they tend to stress when they are working in a social environment because they are social, they like people. If they were working in an unsocial environment, this tends to stress them out. Or when they having to moderate their base, they are very super energetic. They had to maintain a certain base or like uh, energy. This is when they start uh, to have stress. And also when uh, being forced to give up on board ideas because they are very courageous and adventurous, okay? Therefore, under extreme stress, an influence will become sarcastic, makes jokes, and turn serious situations into mockery, unfortunately. And uh, the reasons behind of, uh, this uh, behavior, again, relates to what they fear and what they value. Influence, they value coaching and counseling. They value freedom of expression and individuality. And they fear uh, social rejection because we said they are interested in being accepted by others. So they fear social rejection, disapproval, loss of influence, or being ignored. And that's why under extreme stress, they tend to turn serious situations into mockery. Okay. So for steadiness, uh, they tend to stress when they have to make forced decisions. For settings, they really are sensitive and they don't like to, um, uh, to convey or to make, sorry, uh, from a forced decision. And they need to take time to take that decision. And under forced uh, situations, they just start to be stressed out. Or, or when giving people negative feedback, or having to argue their point of view. So, therefore, under extreme stress, a steadiness will become obedient, not assertive, while grumbling inside. That's a problem with the, uh, this type of steadiness. They just keep complaining inside. They don't express what bothers them and what they're worried about to others and tend to exhibit emotional and physical stress symptoms to hide their weakness, such as frustration, low self-esteem, low energy, headaches, and so on. The reasons, again, of this behavior is related to the values and fears of this type. Settings, they value lo loyalty, helping others, and uh, security and safety. They value these uh, kind of things, and they fear loss of stability, change, uh, loss of harmony, and offending others. That's why uh, it's very difficult for them to convey um, negative feedback to others. And that's why under extreme stress, they tend to exhibit emotional and physical stress symptoms and become not assertive while complaining inside, as we mentioned. Now, for conscientiousness, they tend to stress when they have to follow inefficient procedures. They are about systematic and organized ways, and if they have to follow inefficient procedures, they tend to stress. Or when they are relying on illogical people, because everything to them is, has to be logical, they work with illogical people, this is when they tend to stress out. Or when they having to display empathy or emotional support. Okay, and that's why, therefore, under extreme stress, a, conscious, a conscientiousness will become defensive, opinionated, and inflexible. 
the values and fears of the uh, of this child are the reasons behind that behavior because they value quality as we mentioned accuracy and challenge and they fear criticism careless and unsystematic methods and being wrong that's why under extreme stress they need to uh, under extreme stress they tend to be opinionated and inflexible so we have covered now all the different types of risk and how or what are the stressors I don't know if you have uh, find yourself under each of these uh, types and we also discussed the, uh, their, their behavior under extreme uh, uh, stress situation and also why they feel or why they act uh, that way in that behavior because of the values and fears that they have for each type as we mentioned. So now I think uh, we're uh, moving uh, uh, towards almost the end of the session. Uh, I want you to reflect on this knowledge that you just came to gain and think about the importance of knowing your personality type and the type of personality of other people you work with in situations like a major cybersecurity breach, for example where people from different uh, positions are responsible to respond to that speech while they are a blend of the four different personality types. And you can imagine if they are under extreme stress because of the situation or because of other things those have led to this uh, uh, situation. And ask yourself this, what are the expected risks that may additionally arise during a major cybersecurity breach that would further worsen uh, the response to such a hostile event? I'd love to hear your opinion about this question during the QA session, or you may contact me directly afterwards so together we can uh, come up with a real uh, live playbook to guide and inspire everyone during such difficult and intensely stressed situations. Before I end this session, which I've enjoyed so much and the time has flew so quickly, uh, I would like to leave you with these uh, little gems of wisdom. It's uh, like uh, gained wisdom uh, over the years in my life. Listen to yourself, your inner voice, listen to it, turn your inner notifications. We have our uh, smartphones with us and we turn on notifications for things that we don't want to forget and so on. Pay attention to your inner notifications, please. Okay. Next. Unlock your potential by putting yourself first. You come number one. You help yourself become stronger. You can help others to be stronger as well. And uh, you can unlock your potential by understanding your personality type accordingly. Sometimes you have to go backwards to move forward, just like an arrow. That's when life is dragging you back with difficulties. It means it's going to launch you into something great preparing you for something great. So just focus and keep aiming. And you may fall deep down only to rise up high. Uh, to that I relate, uh, before I took my leave, uh, the early retirement, I experienced like a uh, very deep depression episode for more than nine months. Uh, but afterwards, after that, falling deep down into nowhere, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I discovered my life purpose and I have risen up high again, Alhamdulillah. That's by the grace of Allah. Okay. And remember, none of us is as strong as all of us, 
yet you've got to be strong from within to achieve being stronger together don't be the weakest link in the togetherness chain the cyber threat guys or girls you know what that means to conclude and please don't think of it uh, in a pessimistic way it's a realistic uh, note to conclude know that work does not end but your life does those who take care of themselves more able to continue working than those who burn themselves out me personally i've experienced extreme uh, job burnouts twice one uh, in 2019 and 2009 where i decided to just resign after 12 years of uh, in my career and the second time when i took uh, informed decision i was totally uh, uh totally uh appreciative of the experience and i took the decision at that time you know towards the end of 2019 when i took uh, the decision every day time so i don't want you to reach that level where you just decide to do, to do extreme things remember that your job is just a part of your life it's not all your life don't be rooted that Especially workaholics, they think that they're workaholics. I've been there, it got me nowhere, <laughs> but it was part of my um, growth uh, journey, alhamdulillah. And uh, don't neglect the other side of your life. You have different other roles, uh, other than being an employee. You are a parent, you are a son, you are a daughter or sister. You have different kind of roles, so you need to learn how to balance between all these different roles. Those who are not alerted by this fact will be alerted by illness, unfortunately. And I did experience such things uh, towards uh, before before the end of 2019. I was uh, diagnosed with uh, diabetes type two, but alhamdulillah, now everything is great. I don't. Uh, um, or I'm not diabetic anymore, thanks God. But it was a result of my uh, job burnout. Okay, so take care of that. Uh, your inner uh, notifications, as we said, uh, take it easy on yourself. Don't beat yourself up, but beat your stress your way. Now you understood uh, your business style somehow, so you can manage your stress according to the cybersecurity strategy that we uh, discussed. I here come to the end of my session. I hope the time is good. Uh, thank you, Women in Cybersecurity Middle East, for this wonderful opportunity. Big thumbs up to all the participants uh, and teams behind this amazing event. Thanks all uh, for attending. Hope it was a light session and that you found it beneficial. You may further reach me by scanning this QR code or by going to reach network.co backslash wow consultancy the mic is all yours now uh, if there's any questions i'll be glad to answer them There any questions? Hi. with stress, especially when you're going into the negative type of stress I'm facing. Okay. Okay, so how we cope with stress, again, uh, as we said, you have to, uh, to incorporate a mindset of a realistic positive uh, mindset. And uh, by following uh, the steps that we uh, had in the strategy, you need to uh, 
detect and prevent and uh, respond. Uh, learn more about your uh, personality type, whether by this theory method uh, that we discussed in this session, this method, which is for me is the most easiest among the others. Uh, it's easy for us to relate uh, to situations and people that we uh, deal with. Uh, once you understand your type uh, deeper, uh, you you will uh, I, I didn't I won't I won't say automatically uh, have like a, a good way to cope with stress, but it just uh, it will give you uh, the the base of understanding yourself. And the first, first thing you have to accept whatever situation you are in, don't beat yourself up, don't blame yourself for anything, take it easy on yourself and learn more about yourself. And then you will uh, gradually reach that uh, helping level with stress, especially during the stress situation. Question two, when stress comes from work, the boss, <laughs> yes, back to the, understand your boss's uh, type. But at this time of COVID, uh, one cannot avoid to lose a job, of course. Yes, that was uh, unfortunate for so many uh, people. And I've been work, uh, reading uh, over LinkedIn, so many had to be laid off and they lost their job. But because of this pandemic, um, unfortunately, but whoever uh, have a positive realistic mindset, they will, uh, let's say, they will accept the situation as we said in the beginning. It's, you know, this thing happened to everyone all over the globe, but uh, everyone according to their self-awareness level, uh, they would have a different response. So if you get to know more about yourself, more about your uh, employers, your bosses, uh, the way uh, they like respond also to these kind of situations, you'll be able to uh, meet in the middle. Even when you discuss with them, uh, talk to them, it will be uh, different than, uh, let's say, just taking it very um, aggressively or negatively, in a negative way. Uh, okay. Do you have some guidance on the best cybersecurity job roles that fit every personality type based on this? Well, uh, I hope we can together uh, fit, and especially with the leadership uh, ladies, uh, to come up with uh, such, uh, let's say, a guide that the best sold jobs. But again, let me give you some examples, like for. Um, Maybe uh, for the conscientiousness type, maybe they prefer uh, uh, cybersecurity related to um, governance, maybe audits and governance, because this is intensely into high quality analysis and details. Uh, for, uh, let's say for, uh, for the dominance, most probably it's, it's not just, uh, uh, let's say it's not confirmed, but we can sit together and uh, which types are best, but for dominance, I believe they are good or they will be good in taking decisions and making uh, and uh, achieving results. So you can have uh, have them in a higher level of uh, like leaders, uh, uh, seniors uh, of uh, each uh, department, for example. Uh, for steadiness and influence. Um, Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe they can fit in other different uh, roles as well, but once they're balanced, because what we have covered is uh, when they are extremely unbalanced, whether their uh, dominant or controlling behavior is very extreme, both sides, uh, this is how they act. So uh, for this, uh, I hope I, I answered you, but there is not, there is, I, I haven't come across such uh, guide for jobs and uh, roles according to this theory for cybersecurity field. Women normally put a little tactical <laughs> planning approach before addressing uh, breach. Yeah, while men just hit, <laughs> hit it. This is stressful. Uh, well, okay. Um, 
maybe this is uh, this is another topic uh, comparing between uh, the mindset of uh, women and uh, men. We tend yes to approach differently, but uh, if we are well prepared uh, or if we knew our uh, colleagues uh, and other men we are working with their personality type and our personal type, we can, uh, of course, uh, what we cover today is general descriptions. This uh, can give you, this profile can give you more than that. Uh, your uh, even leadership uh, preferences, uh, uh, what kind of uh, things that you prefer to do, like hobbies and stuff like that related to it somehow. So by understanding this, we can understand why they just hit it and why we take a learning approach. But I've, I've worked with uh, some great guys as well. I, I don't deny that. They do uh, have also planning approach as well. So just let's just refer to them as well. Hope this answered your question. Don't blame yourself exactly. <laughs> But what if there is a, a blame culture, no matter how I try not to blame myself? Exactly, that's why I said, take care of yourself first. Understand and lock your potentials by understanding your personality uh, type. Because we uh, haven't chosen uh, our cultures, we haven't chosen, let's say, our families or where we have born, we were born. Uh, but we are responsible for the things that we can control that's under our control. Once I understand myself, I understand my psychological needs, I will take decisions much, much better and with confidence. Uh, I will, again, I will not neglect the, the environment that I was raised up in or the people that I'm uh, living with, yet I would understand their uh, reasons to act or behave that way, why they are uh, living it that way, according to the culture that they are uh, raised up on. And then I will uh, understand myself well. So whatever decision I take, I'll take it with confidence without blaming myself. You, you, you would reach eventually once you understand yourself in a deeper level. Uh, I was, I was, terrible at blaming myself. I was like, uh, yes, alhamdulillah, now I understand myself very well. By the way, I uh, was type of uh, type S, I'm very sensitive. I used to be very sensitive. I put the others before me uh, all the time until I reached the level, alhamdulillah, I got everything balanced and thanks to Dr. Rima as well, I'd like to thank her. Uh, I became mostly dominant influence uh, type of personality. I still have my own uh, or my main personality type, but I, uh, let's say, gained the, uh, the other two uh, capabilities as well. I hope that answered your uh, question. Stress and challenge. How do you uh, or how did you learn to cope with stress and challenges during your experience in cybersecurity? Can you give a specific example or brief story? Okay, very quickly, uh, as I mentioned, I was a uh, workaholic, maybe sometimes still right now, but now with more uh, self-aware. Uh, I used to uh, work with cyber threat management, as I told you, that, uh, and I, I was responsible also for uh, emergency uh, response and handling incidents. I used to sleep with uh, my laptop. <laughs> I, I, uh, I had very difficult time uh, during that time, yet uh, the one thing that I used to do to take things easy on me was at least on the weekends, I'll have my own time. I'll go uh, to, maybe that's not very, uh, maybe others will not have this, but it's depending on your personality type. I used to go for uh, I walk in any mall, especially one of the malls. I, think I don't want to give any commercials <laughs> or anything. Uh, I'll just go have coffee, uh, have dinner at the end of the weekend, and uh, or bumper myself, let's say, for things that I like, uh, to be able to continue the journey 
for the next week or the next month and so on. I didn't do that or I didn't realize that uh, until recently, but uh, this is how I used to do uh, or how I used to cope with uh, intensely stressed uh, times during my work in cybersecurity. So just find what uh, what things that you feel yourself uh, um, relax that gives you relaxation or uh, gives you uh, energy. Again, you need to recharge yourself. Give yourself uh, time uh, reviews like weekly or monthly. Sit with, your, with yourself. Listen to yourself. This is what I'm saying. Listen to your inner uh, psychological needs. You would know. You would know what makes you. Uh, uh, relaxed and comfortable and what will help you to cope with uh, any uh, stressful situations, inshallah. Uh, does being a perfectionist have any relation to stress? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe conscientiousness uh, type, they are the worst at this, being perfectionist, but it will add. Uh, again, there are things in, under our control and there are things un, uh, out of our control. So usually we stress ourselves in the things that are out of our control. That's why our stress meter will increase. Uh, for perfectionists, they need to learn how to um, uh, test things out. And, uh, the phone didn't, the phone, for example, is very broad, but they need to deliver their uh, Senior is not uh, perfect the way they want. Their senior told no, I want it that way, not this way. They have to learn to accept such uh, such things that um, they don't they don't feel aligned with with their measures because they have this kind of um, false uh, standards about things, or they have their own. We say they have their own standards about how the world is going. That's why uh, they have this kind of, if they didn't meet uh, this expectation or standard, they tend just to do things over and over and over until they have what they have in their mind. So uh, just practice uh, to understand uh, that being perfect will not get you there, actually. It will uh, sometimes make you lose opportunities uh, because maybe others will just finish the job and uh, their uh, boss are happy about that and we're still trying to make things perfect and the due date is already over. <laughs> so just take it out uh, easy on yourself. Out of 10, how much power do you uh, personally have over your stress with being 10 absolute power or and control? Thanks for the question. Uh, okay, so for me personally, I feel now I have, let's say, I'll be honest with you, it's not 10. Um, still, um, uh, because we still face new experiences in life that we're not uh, trained to. But I would say now knowing myself and all the experience that I had for the last, say, 20, 30 years, uh, I might, I might have the nine, nine, eight, nine. Um, yeah, uh, I can control, inshallah, uh, or the power to control my stress, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, especially preparing for, uh, for this amazing event. That was the last question. Thank you all for all the questions. And uh, of course, as we said, whoever would like to um, uh, contact me, they can, Contact me, inshallah, uh, through the uh, links that I have shown. Uh, it has been a pleasure being here with you guys and girl. Uh, now that you know your personality type somehow, beat stress your way. That's what we say. Stay wowing. Thank you all. Thank you.